Okay, hello again. Uh, we're back in Pioneer. Let's try this again. Uh, you wouldn't notice because, <laughs> well, it, you, I'm not gonna show you, but we just crashed. Uh, the game crashed, that is. I didn't crash, but the game did. So I just lost everything I had done. Yay. Uh, so anyways, uh, today we have to start a new character. Because, currently, some of uh, the, the characters have, some of the, the games started here have problems with this starport here. This is OPLI PAX. It's a uh, small planetary port. It has six pads. And in some games, these just get full of ships, and the ships decide to sit there forever, and they don't leave. You could wait for months in game, and they never ever leave. And unfortunately, our buddy Gerhard, who we uh, had a good time creating last time, well, he his packs his packs was packed. <laughs> And uh, we couldn't actually go there. I checked uh, after the video, and it was broke. His pax was broken. So we have a new character today, and uh, let's check on her. So today we have uh, Emi Ueno, right? Uh, once again, right, in a Xylophus space bus, the Happy Hopper, which is a hundred percent better name than uh, whatever Gerhard shuttle was named, and I checked after uh, after uh, making this new game and her packs is okay so we don't have to worry about that with her so here we are things are ready to go let's make some money so uh, we still only have the hundred space bucks and everything on this bulletin board except for this delivery mission is for interstellar stuff so we can't use that but we can do this right Leonor Garcia wants us to take uh, something a package an item delivered to OPLI wisdom pronto and we'll get 40 space bucks for it 40 credits I guess so I guess the dollar sign is not space bucks but credits okay all right let's go all right it's a rush mission, so we gotta go fast. So we undock. And get ready to leave the station. Landing gear up. Uh, follow mode off. So with follow mode on, we follow the rotation of the station. It makes it a lot easier to dock. Cruise mode off. And this will Cruise mode is good for uh, docking, but when you're flying other places, not so much. Here we go. That's not our target. That is our prograde target. Here we are. OPLI Wisdom. Wisdom, unfortunately, is on a planetoid clinging on the dark side of this gas giant. So this this uh, approach could get kind of hairy. Anyway, let's point ourselves towards uh, our target. And let's get ready to go. So maneuver for some good thrusting. And we're ready. I'm going to speed up time. And there's our prograde to the navigational target marker. Put this onto our target and we follow it in. Let's slow down time. Let's go normally for a bit. We still have a lot of time. Let's look around the cockpit. So this is the Xylophus cockpit. For a space bus, 
it's pretty high tech. We can zoom in on a few things. All right, and there's the OPLI logo, Bernard's. It's really good looking. I like, I really like this uh, console. There's our tape player. <laughs> the tape player. The tape player. In the year 3224, the best tunes are still on cassette tape. <laughs> oh, space bus. Anyways, back to back to getting to our target. So we thrust there. And oh, we're kind of getting close. So, this bar here on the right is our braking bar. That tells us when we should start to brake. When it gets up to the green at the top of this bar, that's when we start our uh, main thruster braking. Well, it's getting close, so we got to turn around. This bar is our gas bar. Right? Uh, wisdom is pretty close to uh, resting, so we don't really need to spend a whole lot of gas to get there. But for farther targets, for farther uh, space stations, we do need to watch that. But we're pretty, we're pretty fine for uh, now. <laughs> Not much of a problem for a close trip. Speed up time, and there is in the green. Right. So we just kind of brake, step on the gas. Let's slow down a bit. Right. We flipped around here, and we are moving with our main thrusters towards our navigation target. So we use these thrusters, the most powerful thrusters on our ship, to slow down. Oh, and I forgot to change the low power thrust level. This helps keep uh, the braking bar in the green. We can set it to anything, really, and that reduces the power of the thrusters. We just hold down uh, the shift key and it works pretty well. It takes a little while to stop though. You know, speed time back up. We want the bar to stay in the green so we will occasionally switch to our low power thrusters. You can see here the thrusters kind of going up and down. That's me. Flipping between high and low power. Though I think at 92%, that, that that keeps us fairly cleanly in the uh, in the green. We could actually afford to let up a bit more. Let that get a little higher. There we go. We don't want it getting too high, though. If it goes too high, it goes into the red, and that means we're going to overshoot our target, which is not a terrible thing, but, you know, it's not really what you want to do. Zoom in a bit. We can do a little bit of course correction here. Right, because... Ooh! Danger! Danger. Let up on the brake and got really close to going in the red. That was not good. <laughs> Ooh. So we don't need to use our low power thrusters for a bit because we're <laughs> we are in uh, dangerous territory here. Probably speed up a little bit more. 
least speed time up. Yep. Gonna have to do some more no course correction. There we go. So this is... What was this planetoid's name? Clinging. Clinging. Clinging is on the dark side of this gas giant, so it's incredibly hard to see. I can't tell where it is, to be honest. Oh. Slowed down a little too much. It is near impossible to see where this planetoid is. A bit more course correction. There's clinging. Okay, okay. Let's slow down a bit. Let's pause. We can kind of see the planetoid here. Right, there's the, uh, the HUD marker. And you can kind of see this dark splotch here on the, uh, the star field. That's the planet. The moon. Asteroid. It's a really tiny thing. So... So, break, and let's do some maneuvering. Put the marker just over wisdom. Let's pause, check real quick. I don't want to screw this up. So, clinging is on the opposite side. Wisdom is on the opposite side of clinging, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more course correction. Bring it up a bit more. How's that look? That doesn't really change a whole lot. That's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Flying by the seat of our pants. I think we can speed time up a bit more. Yeah, we'll get it. There's the planetoid. And I think we can see it just there. Yeah. Oh. We're getting close. Marker up. Double check because I'm, I'm nervous. We're really going to have to bring that prograde marker up, aren't we? Hmm. Okay, there it is. It's the planet. I'm not sure how that, that orbit line is supposed to work. Because this shows us... Oh! Wow. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We do have to break, though. So, let's just sit on the brakes. Oh, and hope we don't pancake into the planet. Now we can use our thrusters to do some course correction. I think we're in good position, though. Oh, the, 
uh, the marker has changed, which means wisdom is on the opposite side of the horizon. We have to go past it. So let's slow down a bit, do some maneuvering, bring the prograde marker down. flown past wisdom. So where is it? Where is it? There it is. Zoom out. Yeah, hi there, wisdom. Let's turn on cruise mode. Let our thrusters do uh, the work for us. Head in. I like to, I like to uh, request docking permission when we get under five kilometers from the port. So we're under five kilometers. So here we go. It's docking, docking goes to uh, docking bay number two. have enough time. Yeah, second, uh, 2 a.m. on the 15th of February. Yeah, we made this in plenty of time. Now we gotta slow down. The last kilometer. Okay, let's stop. Gear down. Swap to the bottom camera. And here we can maneuver into position for landing. So let's see. Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. So we want to zero out the level. There we go. And our tilt is okay. Let's put down. There we go. I gotta admit, flying on the dark side of planets is rather nerve wracking. Oh. It's a lot easier to fly when you can see the planet you're going to. Oh boy. we are. Whew. Package delivered. How much money did that make us? Um, it was 40 s credits. Uh, minus, minus the docking fee. Ah, uh, docking fees. So let's uh, gas up. All right, we used a bit of gas there. And let's save. <laughs> let's save. Because this was nutty. Alright. Boom. Ah, thanks, Emmy. Good job. We made it to PAX. Not PAX. Uh, wisdom. We made our first delivery. Oh, boy. 40 bucks. 40 space bucks. 40 credits. So... We just need six hundred more space bucks. Six hundred 
570 space bucks or so. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. But hopefully we'll be able to do some more missions. If we're lucky, we can double up on locations. Take two packages to the same uh, space station. That'd be nice. But, wow, that's that's enough excite for, <laughs> excitement for one day. Was this exciting? It was certainly nerve-wracking, at least on my part. But anyways, that's enough for today. We'll see you all later. Hopefully, we'll have some more money by then. Thanks, and goodbye.